Real Madrid versus Osasuna. Uh, Real Madrid minus three, three, three. Osasuna plus nine hundred. For me, it's like. Jocelyn scores because Osasuna cannot defend crosses into the box. So any player who can go and head the ball, he will get chances here. Draw is at plus 470. Madrid are uh, plus 120 to score three times. Oaks, you can take this one away. Yeah, um, I just want to say, um, you know, Madrid, uh, I know we're a little depleted. Nacho suspended for this one. Um, I just want to throw out a nice fun stat. Madrid have never lost a game that Kamavinga starts at left back. And I think we're going to see Kamavinga starting at left back again here. Uh, I think he's playing absolutely phenomenal back there. I know that's not his preferred position, but when Carlo asks, he answers the call and he's ha and he's happy to play. You know, you might not get that impression uh, from what you see online, but Listen, when it comes to being on Madrid, you're happy to play anywhere on the pitch. You're happy to get the time on the field because it is so competitive and so many people want to play. So I, I see Madrid handling the business here very easily. I love your read with Jose Lu. He's 6'4". He's monstrous. Uh, he'll be the target on every set piece, corner, uh, and in ball from free kicks. Um, you know, I, I, he might get eight, nine, ten shots here versus Osasuna, uh, especially if we rack up set pieces. I think Vinny looked great. I loved how he played yep. in Champions League, got a goal. He, uh, he, he made some outstanding uh, plays as well. Bellingham had a goal and an assist uh, midweek in Champions League. Um, he's the number one points getter here in La Liga um, and might be playing like the best player in the world right now. I love what Fetty's doing. Um, so, yeah, we'll just kind of leave it at that. It's Madrid by a million. Yeah, and I don't think Osasuna scored, to be honest. Just at a skinny little minus 105, Klaus. And that's the thing. I think Osasuna will score. I just really? keep, I keep, I keep seeing defensive trouble for Real Madrid. It's been, oh. yep. I mean, Oak spoke about the how how bad Atletico is defending, and you look at Real Madrid, and they're also not defending that great. And and I think that makes me. I mean, if you look at you know the last couple of games for Osasuna, they they managed to hit the back of the net. I mean, you're talking about the fact that they scored against Alaves. Uh, they, they failed to score against Atletico Madrid, but they scored two against Hitafe. They even got one against Barcelona. So it's a team that's been hit in the back of the net. I mean, right now they're top ten. That's something to talk about as well. But I think there's a lot of money to be made on this game. And I actually did a couple of side notes as well. I didn't mention it to you guys, but I did a couple. For example, Vinny to score and Madrid to win, plus 150. Listen, that's something to take right there. That, that's that's a given. Can it happen? I think it will happen. Is it a, is it a 100% affirmative? No. But looking at Vinicius, since he's coming back, he came back against Las Palmas with a couple of minutes. Now he's fully back in it. That could be one to look at. Uh, Real Madrid wins and both teams to score, plus 185. That's something also that I wrote down as a side note. Real Madrid halftime, full-time, minus 110. Something to look at as well. And Real Madrid, I think this one is the one that I didn't go with it, but I think it's one of the best ones out there. Real Madrid uh, to win in total over 3.5, plus 210. Why not a 3-1? Why not a 4-2? I see a lot of goals happening in this game. So... Also got to take into consideration that Madrid is coming from midweek activity in Champions League as well. So there are going to be a couple of guys out there that are going to be tired. But also Madrid knows that they're in first place. And now it's moment, the, the crucial game they got it, which was against Girona. But they still got Girona right behind them. They have Barcelona right behind them. And they have Atletico Madrid who still has to play two matches to catch up. So uh, it, it's, it's, Real Madrid still has a lot to do. Uh, they need the three points in order to stay on top of the table. I do see them winning. But I also see a match, an open match, at least one goal from Osasuna for sure. Yeah, I'll tell you what you've done there, though, with having uh, Osasuna scoring. Both teams are scoring over. Is at plus 125. Real Madrid to win. And you're, get, you're turning a minus 333 into like a plus 185. Um, and, then, and obviously, I've said Jocelyn will score. I think he has five or six chances here. Any free kick, anything that slid across the face of goal. Osasuna do not defend danger very well. So, uh, for me, they're going to have a hat full of chances each. So, uh, let's have a little look at the official picks. Now, both teams score an over two and a half at plus 125 is the official pick from Klaus. But he gave you a whole host of other ways there. And uh, if you can find a book that agrees with Oaks, uh, it was uh, Madrid by a million. I don't know what odds you're going to get on that, but uh, I'd have a few of the anytime goal scorers. Uh